Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to use the do while loop for C++ using CodeBlocks IDE. So I'm going to search for my IDE, the CodeBlocks, which is an open source cross platform. I'm using 20.03. Okay, so I'll create a new project by creating a new file. So I'll go new and file. So C++ source code, next, yes, then I'll file name, I'll save it in the do while loop folder, do while, yes, and save it, finish it. So I'll start by commenting, by commenting, do while loops. So my first program will be while loop. So I'll, I'll use while loop for numbers. Then I'll start my programming now, include IEO stream, yes, then the basic using namespace, std, yes, and I'm starting my program, integer main, yes, I'll, and I'll put this, so this is where we write our command now, so we need to specify how the numbers, which category are they, are they, are they the strings, are they, I mean, I mean, are they double, are they float, are they integers, for my case it would be integer, so p, because two, they start from zero, for instance. So now I'll put my while loop while always while loop comes with a bracket. So I'll put while the command, the condition. So while that means that when that condition is made, the computer will follow the instructions. So while p less than twenty, yes, there you are. And I put this command so as I can run my my command here in between. See, or we can put it this way here in between. Okay, so it's okay. So I can put it anyway. So this is where I put my command. So while p is less than 20, so the computer should should print that number p. Okay. Then I'll end line. So that's giving more space. Then I'll instruct now the computer to print the numbers in sequential. That means by following up number digit by digit. So what I'm gonna do is I put p plus plus. Then I close this. So that means this is my while loop here in between starting from this bracket so that means here this is the command for while loop then after finishing the command the computer should return zero as usual business as usual so that, that means here we'll print numbers less than 20 that means from 0 1 2 3 until 19. so let us build to see if there's no errors wow very good so i'll run it okay so 0 to 19 this is it so you can also try to put it from can start from 2 let us try to build it first Okay, make sure no errors, then run. So the numbers will start from 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 19. So this is the way of doing it. So this is the way of printing, I mean, while loop. So let us try to use do while in combination and see how this thing works. So let me try to copy this code for our reference, just in case. I'm using a notepad here, so you shouldn't worry. File new here. So this is the while loop. So let us go for another one. So I'll delete. I'll delete here everything. This is where our main function comes in. So I'll start now the do command. So the do command starts with do. Then you put these brackets, the curly brackets. That means that's where you put all your your commanding to the computer. So let me put enter. So it, so you, you instruct the computer to do something while you are expecting to print something. So it will check the command to see if the instructions are made, then it will print. So it will start. So you should do what should it do? It should, it should print, for instance, P, the number. Okay. Then end line as usual. End line. Yeah, this one here. So after doing that, so that means you instruct also the same P, it should add. But that's the do. So the do, it will look at this, it will print p. But why should it print p? While the command, so I'm combining now the while command here. So this is the do. The do contains, I just wrote two lines of code. That means it will, you need the, the computer to output p, end line, and p plus plus. That means it goes from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So it depends. So before that, I forgot here, yeah, I need to put like uh, to the numbers I'm printing. So integer p, yeah, I need to. Put like a variable integer p is equal to zero. Let us start from zero. So from here, so the do command here, what does what it do? It will print. I mean, it will print or it will show on the screen the numbers. Maybe zero, one, two, three. So now we don't know the command. Is it less than six? Less than ten? Less than eight? So I'm gonna put in a while command. So while this is, it will be checking. It's a loop. It will 
it is like going in cycles just with the do goes with the while goes with the do it starts with checks this command then goes with the while so i'll put the while as usual put these brackets here while p less than 15. okay okay so while p is less than 15 here that means we're done here let us return zero so what you do that means it will check this first printing p but it won't print until while the condition is met so if it's less than 15 it will print one print it zero one two until 15 until 14 so if it's 15 it won't print it will stop there so this is it so loop is like a cycle it's forming a cycle it goes it checks around and moves in so let us try to run this let us build and see what we have oh, i didn't kill one command okay let me kill it first okay so let us try to build expected before return wow yes there's something i missed out here this one <laughs> okay so you shouldn't worry so let us try to build let's make sure there's no error zero errors wow so let us print so wow zero to one to three until 14. so this is how it works so it prints zero to 14. so you can also instruct it maybe from p number five so it will print from five let us build to 14. so let us see five six seven eight nine ten and it goes dig it by dig it because here of this command here instruction p plus plus that means it goes by one plus one that means dig it by dig it so this is the way of doing it so this is the do while loop this is the way of doing it using c plus plus so thank you for listening i hope you have enjoyed i'll do another video for for loops i'll do another one for if else if so keep in touch actually i'll be dropping more videos make sure you subscribe